Rush hour traffic was messier than usual in one section of Los Angeles this morning thanks to a huge sinkhole which opened up. Officials say a water main ruptured, causing this sinkhole to form under a major intersection in the city of Van Nuys. Emergency crews had to shut down two major streets. Traffic was backed up for miles around the L.A. metropolitan area. And now, WB11 weather with Mr. G. All right, everybody, remember these numbers well. In the park, it got to 32 degrees. First time in seven days at 12.32 p.m. In Newark, it got to 34 degrees at 1.15 p.m. Bridgeport, 32 at 11.51 a.m. But forget about it. For the next couple of days, we're not even going to come close to those numbers. At 21, humidity 59. The winds are gusts 22 miles per hour. Your split high and low, 32, 25, the normalist time of year. Should be right around, let's figure, 20 normal should be right around 36, 37 degrees for a high. Probably lowering at uh, 19 degrees at the end of the week. Look at Friday, split high and low, 30 and 11, 21 and 7 on Saturday, 28 and 17 on Sunday. A moderation after that. Keep in mind the normal should be right around, again, 37 and 26 degrees. For us, the current temperature in at 22, 18 degrees, White Plains. We check out Allentown, Trenton Wrights, down to Belmont, to Brunswick, into Andover in at 17. But the winds are popping at 20 miles per hour, and the chill is in at minus 6, minus 12, White Plains. Minus 8 degrees in ice slip. You have the picture, and that wind will make it feel that way really around here until further notice. The temperatures around the Midtown area bottoming out mid-teens. Back to Chicago we go. It'll hold it around 9. In the Midtown area, we'll be in the mid-20s. Back to Chicago and Bradford, temperatures will be in the teens. I keep mentioning the Ohio Valley because the flow is northwest in our direction, and that's where the Arctic air is poised and moving steadily in our direction. Everything will track to us south. No major storms around here because the cold air will reign supreme right into your weekend as it locks in Wednesday. Thursday and Friday. This is a polar jet. This is an Arctic Express, the Siberian Express, right out of the tundra of Canada, across the Canadian Divide, Cuddy's favorite spot, across the Great Lakes. And again, you got the picture right through the rest of the week into the weekend. And this is going to be the time to record some of these numbers. If you have heat problems in the city, 212-824-DIAL-HEAT. In New Jersey, 800-436-7734. And in Long Island, 800-490-0075. The beat goes on. A moderation will occur. Let's figure late over the weekend into early next week. It's cold, though. The city, 14 to 19. North and west, 4 to 9. Look at the camera shaking. Sunny, windy. Slow down, slow down. Windy and cold, 21 to 26 degrees. Here's your five-day forecast. The good news, no snowstorms. Okay, that's the good. The bad news, there's chunks of ice floating <laughs> down the Hudson. Yeah, there are. First time that's oh, happened in three years. Wow. Um, now some more good news, okay? The okay. latest computer guidance is showing a moderation in temperature early next week above freezing That's maybe moderation? monday tuesday and wednesday yeah. these yeah. days they it's all relative isn't it yeah all right uh, sal's here everybody's been watching a little bit of football this weekend let's see what he's got <laughs> nice double header right? yeah it was well, nice <laughs> there you go well at the end of this holiday monday we have lots of basketball to report plus a look at the super bowl matchup coming up how the knicks beat the heat at the garden the Nets and the Utah Jazz, a late start in Utah. College hoops, the Lady Huskies just keep on winning. This is Don Chaney. South Sports is next. Keep it where it is.